Alright, let's get in here. We're gonna have some fun on our operations. Uh, yeah, me. I, I haven't really been doing much. Here, we might as well play some Battlefield 1. Uh, hope y'all enjoy. Anyway, here it is. Uh, yeah, we're doing an operation. It's called Oper Conquer Hell, it's the U.S. Army. Beating back the Germans at the Argonne Moose Argonne Offensive in 1918. Final months of the war. America's just beating the shit out of the Germans. The Germans are holding up stout in these defense, so we gotta push them back hard. And old fact about the uh, Argonne Offensive, uh, there's actually a battalion and about 100 soldiers who had some wounded and sick with them. And they got caught between friendly fire and the German fire, and there was artillery on them. So they sent up a pigeon called Shea Me or some shit, I forget. And I am the Germans. So, well. Kaiser will, Kaiser will be pleased. Uh, fucking hell. Anyway, let me just get these fuckers in. Come on, boys. We have lost the sector. And uh, pretty much, what happened was the pigeon up saving the soldiers' asses. So. Back there for you. The pigeon saved 100 U.S. soldiers' lives in the Battle of the Argon Forest. What the hell it called it? By the way, the gun I'm using didn't exist for shit. It was like one prototype, and the way it worked was the drum mag you laid down like a normal machine gun out, and you just fired it. There was a stick mag that used for the devs. I, I'm gonna give them credit; they did completely fine. They only had the right side to work with because the pictures only sh would show the right side of the gun. So we have no idea what the left side would look at. So. Shoot these fuckers. Come on, sirs. We have lost objective apples. I run in there and run out. <laughs> oh fuck, I'm on fire. Damn it. Fuck. Okay, here we gotta push break. Come on, boys. We have lost objective button. Charge! Take the right! Come on, boys. Shut up. Fuck! What the fuck kind of emblem is that? Oh, fuck. Alright, motherfucker. We have taken objective uh, oh, it's an issue. Yeah, well. huh. Ooh! Let's go on, it's open. I'll take that. <laughs> anyway, the, yeah, the Hell Regal, like, it was called, like, shut something German and then help Regal. Some guy named Hellregal or some shit. It was Austrian Hungarian weapon in design. I mean, it's a cool little thing. I mean, they didn't really get to work, and I heard they like destroy the only known type of it after the war or some shit, so the enemy wouldn't get its hands on or some shit. It's a really weird gun, and no one knows what exactly it could have done. Because it was a gas fed gun and shit, but other than that, not much is known about it, I've heard. I mean, I'm gonna blow these up because I'm a dick. Ah! Beat them! We done defeated! Yeah, we uh... Oh, shit, I mean. oh fuck it. <laughs> oh fuck, they put out gas. Yeah, oh, damn it! Okay, they... Well, we're fucked on this side. Mm. Yeah. I mean, on this year, y'all, you're probably going to see a lot better quality from my videos. I'm going to be getting me a better uh, audio uh, enhancer and some uh, capture cards. Oh, I killed a real Tony Montana. Just remember, no one fucks me, Tony. Well, scar face reference. Y'all. Damn, I was fucking him up. <laughs> Got beat with a hell are you now, it's an interesting design because there's two variants of the game, 120 round, 20 round one. Uh, actually, oh yeah, and speaking to that, the SMG8, there's only like a what, like two ever found in real life, and they're both in the Russian museum. Holy shit, I have 16. Oh my god, I did not use no, I used that gun that fucking much. Holy shit. <laughs> now you're sniping, buddy. Ah, you're being a little shit, not doing anything at the objective, understandable, but you will never be good. 
Let's just use infantry. And you're gonna use a fucking trench barrier or some shit. Other than that, you're not gonna you're not gonna get down, buddy. I know from experience. If we can just hold A, I think we'll be fine. Yeah. Okay, how many to pack? Oh, Jesus, dude, they drew so much fucking gas in this bitch. Come on, fuck it. Jesus. I got a kill assist. Turn. I'm gonna be hit. Okay. Uh, what gun should I use? Actually, I need to use 1903 hammer Yeah, um, you know, my setup, it's like, it's weird where I play this, because, like, I mean, people use the Hellraiser and shit, and people bitch about it's not accurate. Well, if you want accurate for a role in the game, I recommend, like, Burgnon, or Cannonburg, for example, that game's coming out this year. I recommend that. I mean, Battlefield 1 is fun and all, but it's just, like, people are going back to Battlefield 4 and shit. I mean, I never, this is my first Battlefield, so, I'm just spending a lot. Oh, shit. Okay, this fucker would move. It's Jesus. Fuckers get in your way and shit. Okay. Fucking shooting fucker down there. Damn, dude. Actually, when I'll be I don't know if you could blow this building up or not. Have the roof come down if we... Yeah, but I'm kind of glad they can do that though. They're gonna be a fuck fest. You have no cover here. Oh fuck, we need to take the Come on. Shit, I just randomly fucking hit part. I need a medic. Oh, health kit. Yes, 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 yes. Come on. Damn it, we're gonna fucking push. Beat. Yep, we're gonna be pushed back. Fuck me. I got a couple of them at least. Fuck. Damn it. Oh shit, we're getting our asses beat. Holy fuck. No oh, fuck. Two enemy battalions left. Fuck, we're not gonna be able to make it. Yeah, we've lost this one. Okay. I wonder why those guys. Why they're fucking sniping, dude. It's a fucking defensive shit. Oh, yeah, you can probably attack all defense, but if you're doing an attack and you're on the offensive, it's not got any use to your teammates in this game, to be honest. Got no fucking use for it. Just ain't. By the way, though, I like, I've always wondered how the hell they managed to get the most in the gaunt as a standard issue on the, uh, um, hardcore servers for the Russian DLC. I've always wondered that. Really, uh, interesting, to be honest. Oh, well. Okay, now, fuck it. The fuck killed me? It's just nothing that fucking killed me. That makes no fucking sense. The fuck, dice. Um, you know what? Fuck it. I am gonna snap, snap. Snap at a snap, snap. Because I'm really good. Oh, yeah, great. You know, Y'all gonna call me a fucking fuckboy for using a martinary. I was using limited numbers, actually, so it has some purpose. To be honest. I mean, it's like a 50 cal black power. 577 cal but bullets really packs a punch. And it just has a slow muzzle velocity to the black powder in the gun. And the rifle, the bullet itself. Oh, oh my god, these fuckers. Okay, fuckers. Where are they? We have lost objective apples. I, I'm kind of blind in my right eye, so sorry if I don't see anything. I guess we're gonna punch these fuckers. Damn it. Oh, great. God, fucking fire grenade. What the fuck is my ping on this shit, actually? Damn. You know, uh, 
Pretty much, they actually had uh, explosive uh, shock or uh, incinerator shotgun rounds in this time, apparently. From what I've read and heard. So they're playing Cod War 2, I know. I don't fucking play that game much. I never really. I did a little series of them on the channel for the campaign, which is bullshit, in my opinion. And, uh, pretty much what happened was, like, they would, like, fill with some kind of a night of material or some shit, dude. Like, I mean, fucking hell, Regal. Fuck that. Remain. And pretty much what it does, like they would use the fucking martini, like to shoot down planes and shit before, or like exurbance balloons, like you see that thing behind us up there in the sky, if I can see, if, yeah, you see that right there while I'm shooting it right there? That's an observation balloon. And they would shoot them down with the martinis and shit by using like explosive rounds or something in the gun. And it would cause quite a bit of chaos. Fuck. Where is this son of a bitch? Damn. Oh yeah, I hope y'all are looking forward to the uh, new DLC. I'll do a little bit of that on the channel. I'll play a couple of rounds of the new stuff. We have Fuck lost it, no. objective that fucker's dead. Fuck, I died. Fucking shader got his scrub. What a fucking cuck. I just wish they would bring like customizable operations to the game because I think it would be more fun for some players to just play the same shit over and over. Oh, and fucker cancel the shotgun. The bitch. Honestly though, who the fuck uses the 12 gauge automatic though? The gun's not that good. See? Even the fucking random <laughs> fucking game agrees if y'all can hear that fucker. Shit. <laughs> Got him. Okay, we held it. Come on. I think we, we I doubt we're gonna be able to hold him one more time. See, I'm doing alright on the scoreboard, I ain't doing the best, but I'm not doing the worst. And hopefully I can just continue that. Because Germans, if they had won this, the war would have dragged on probably longer than I expected with my possible Well, I doubt we could have fucking won it. I doubt they would have won it though, still, because of uh the French or not the French, but the British broke their Amions and shit. Or hell to Amions and shit. So. Uh, honestly, this war is like really interesting. I'm looking forward to the uh, Turning Tides DLC because I want to play as an Anzac. It's really cool history. If I can get a friend of mine, Cade, that maybe do a video with me and talk about it, I probably would and do that. I will do that for the channel. I think maybe I'll like hearing from an actual Australian about that. You run up in there. What the fuck are they doing? We are losing objective apples. Fuck it. YOLO. Oh fuck, they get a train. Shit. We have lost objective apples. Oh, that's Shit's gonna be fucked in a minute. Bruh, that thing is already halfway down. Holy shit. That, that, there goes that fucking dynamite. I'm not gonna move. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I am so fucked. I need to make a retreat. Fuck it, YOLO! Fuck! Get back, shoot some of a bitch. Oh, that train's at 8 health, too. Fuck. Yes! Fucking hell. What a fucking nigger. Oh, sh Fuck. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I didn't mean to fucking say that. Well, there goes the train. Don't have to worry about that shit. It's just gas. If it's friendly, it don't hurt you, you dumbasses. Okay, that will hurt you. Oh, fuck. Okay, 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 okay. We are time to use a martini on them. Fucking hell. Probably snipe a couple of them, actually, so. Like, actually, what I just want to do, though, is just turn on the standard issue for all game modes. Like, 
just have it as an option. It'll be really nice. But people say like it'll be OP for everyone just like. I got him. Captain Kidlot. What is the Capitan? Okay, okay, okay. We got a whole fucking CD. This is a fuck fest. The fuck? Oh my god. The show chat. How the fuck is he gonna see me from up there? Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be. Yeah, we're losing. So yeah, we've lost this. We've lost it. They. I don't get why the fuck they didn't go and push a other objective. Like we could have flanked them. Honestly. This is yeah. This is. Oh well. Mm, we might could take it back. The only thing I don't like about the martini is the fucking iron sight. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, side. fuck. Come on. Move it. Move your asses. Uh, fucking looting. Fucking Wilhelm. Sorry, ass. You know, actually, there was a movie based off of the German Horror One experience called uh, All Quiet on the Western Front. Really good movie. It actually won an Oscar about a German guy's time in the German Army in World War One. Hitler actually banned the movie because he said it went against the German beliefs at the time of World War Two. Might also been because he was having World War One flashbacks. BS from Vietnam. If you ask anyone for Vietnam, I'll say they're undefeated. Head up, boy. What the fuck? Oh my god, they're wow. Wow, he's gonna fucking spam that fucking whole building. Mm. I'm gonna go with the fucking German infantry variant. Fucking might as well be accurate for once. Because here's the thing with the, uh, the you know the uh, Steiner Monlicker 95 actually was actually the first. Uh, technically considered a semi-automatic rifle because it was a straight pull, and Steiner Monlickers you can still buy for like 200 bucks or some shit, and they're really good guns. I mean they don't pack a kick at all really. And the rare 98s, you can still do it, but they're different kind of bolt action. So you all say they're same kind of fucking gun, which there aren't. And either a fucking edit, or you just don't know guns. And it's understandable if you don't know guns. But if you say you know guns, you don't know what the difference between a fucking Siren Monlicker and a fucking Gravere 98 is, you're a fucking dumbass. Fucking nasty ass fucking Jew bait, motherfucker. I need mean, a you know, fucking titwog. Put seven rounds in that son of a bitch. <laughs> Let's fucking pop that son of a bitch. Sorry for my piss poor accuracy, y'all. Fuck. Oh my god. How the fuck is a Shaver Gotti gonna hit me from that fucking range? That gun ain't even that accurate at that leather range. Besides, that gun wasn't really even really juice at all, also. I mean, it was like a prototype or some shit. 
most of these guns in this game are prototypes, aside from like the fucking, like, the marksman sights on these guns were mainly used by Germany, but they weren't really used at all. And the, the, the Russian 95 is not really used at all, they should probably just replace it with the fucking Carcano in general and just brought the Russian with the, with the, uh, uh, Russian DLC, but they didn't. And they should have bought the Viterali with the town as well, but never mind. And only gun that really wasn't oh, used in World War One at all, at all, was the 1906 experimental. It was supposed to be used, but the Pedersen device wasn't really implemented. It was supposed to be for the 1919 offensive, and it wasn't used at all, so nothing for you. And uh, the Perina, the way it is, wouldn't have been used like that either. Let's go back to assault. I'm doing shit currently. Not doing much. I mean, other than that. shotgun <laughs> shit oh damn yep we've lost we've lost big time we've lost yeah we've uh, we kind of fucked we really fucked. America number one fuck yeah you get no cheery <laughs> fucking pop these fuckers with a slug rifle fuck, fucking slug gun from a mile away with the son of a bitch that's OP gun in the game to be honest it's fucking slug gun Okay, Blueberry, you just stand, just sit on the ground and not fucking move. Wait, hold on. Hold fucking one minute. What the fuck? What's the internet? Okay, there's a Fuck it, I'll go back to this fucker. Okay. <sighs> about fucking slug shotgun, so. The thing about this gun though is. Yeah, where the fuck are these sons of bitches? This gun right here takes absolute skill to use and shit. We just fucking. Schmiegel, Harry, Yeah, if we win this, it'll be fucking nice. Be real. This is like fucking uh, Siege of Petersburg in 1865. I'm a horrible fucking shot with this gun, so. Okay. Damn, that fucker got shot. I'm just sitting here observing the battlefield, like, eh, hey, whatever. <laughs> Behind us. Okay, they got him. Coming in heavy at Alpha. Fuckers.
Well, we won. Did it, boys. We held them. The Americans have been stopped. The Hindenburg line is secure. Anyway, y'all. Both same games. Anyway, I hope y'all look forward to the next Battle for the One DLC update. I'm gonna do a little bit of that on the channel. Hope y'all enjoy that. I also hope y'all enjoying the 7 Days to Die stuff. I'll do other episodes of that later sometime this week. Anyway, though, I'm also gaming. See y'all around. Y'all have a good Tuesday. Anyway, have a good one. Bye bye.